Hello and welcome to this episode of Daji Global Pan Vision. Today's episode is sponsored by Vendel Travels and Holidays, Ground Floor Abhiman Chambers, Bans Hostel, Mangalore. First, the news headline from abroad. Voice of Bangalore, hunt for Konkani singing talent sends ripple of excitement in Gulf. News headlines from Mumbai. Bansanga Bombay remembers Mudana, great Kannada writer of the 19th century. Here's what we have in our local news. Theatre personality Maunesh Vishwakarma wins Central Government Scholarship to study children's drama. Three-day national workshop on art of effective cinematography begins at St. Elisha's College. Mahashivratri celebrated with religious fervor and splendor. And in our entertainment bash, we have a Hindi song from the musical program held at Town Hall, a dance from Geetotsuwa 2008, and a Konkani song from Virfi Night held at Kuwait. Wendell Travels and Holidays pleased to announce Cox and King's 250th birthday special offers. Up to 40% cash back on European tours, up to 20% cash back on USA tours. Flexible tailor-made packages to suit individual needs, romantic honeymoon packages, fascinating Far East holidays, exploring Australia and New Zealand, domestic and international tickets, visas, exploring our own country or simply taking a weekend break. Please contact Wendell Travels and Holidays, Ground Floor, Abhiman Chambers, Bans Hostel, Mangalore. Phone 244-75-82-4254-881-6452-999 News in detail Indian Idol, popular show on Indian television has inspired the stalwarts of Konkani world to start a similar show to determine the best undiscovered young singer in Konkani. Though the Mangalorean community does not have an international TV channel to get Mangalorean talents from worldwide, the two brains from Kuwait are working hard to realize the dreams of finding the golden voice of Mangalore. Lawrence Pinto, known to be the undisputed leader of Konkani community in Kuwait, an able organizer and leader along with Luis Rodriguez, who is well known for his clever organizing skills, have come together to discover singing talents. As this initiative is on experimental basis, the entry is restricted to talents of the Gulf states only. The competitions will be held in Bahrain, Muscat, UAE, Doha and Kuwait. Twelve semi-finalists will be selected after holding the auditions and preliminary rounds. Wilfie Rabimbus along with his wife Mina, Melvin Perez and Joel Pereira will judge the semi-final rounds of each country. The grand finale will be held on October 17th in Kuwait. Buns form an important and integral part of Tulunadu. In the wake of the First World War, the South Canada region saw a steady migration of the third rung of buns to Mumbai in search of new opportunities. Today, buns constitute a majority of the Kanadiga population settled in Mumbai. Buns Sangha Bombay, an association formed in 1927 with the main aim of bringing the welfare activities of the buns community of South Canada to the forefront, is one of the active associations of Kanadigas in Mumbai. Sangha is organizing a series of seminars on the writers of Tulunadu and the first seminar was held on Mudana recently. Buns Association Mumbai is organizing a series of seminars on the writers of Tulunadu. The first seminar on Kavi Mudana Life and Work was inaugurated by Dr. Padmanabha Shetty. Noted writer and critic Dr. Sunita M. Shetty presided over the function. Writers Professor Sita Ram R. Shetty, Dr. Taltajay Vasan Kumar and Jai Prakash Nidwarnaya presented papers on Admuta Ramayana and Sri Rama Patabhisheka, Sri Ramashma Veda Ratnavati Kalyana and Kumara Vijaya Yakshagana Prasangas respectively. Bans Association Cultural and Literary Wing Secretary Ananda P. Shetty welcomed the gathering. Now on to some local news. Well-known journalist, resource person, dramatist and Daiji World's Bantwal correspondent, Monish Vishwakarma has been selected for the scholarship given by the Cultural Department of the Union Government. He is serving as an artist for the Nirata Niranta Children's Drama School located in Puttur. He has been active in the drama field for the last five years. Monish will be studying about the children's drama field under the guidance of senior artist and drama director K.J. Krishnamurti. Monish has performed more than 350 street plays and children's dramas. He has also directed many plays. Monish Vishukarma is one of the contributors to Daiji World from Bantwal region. Mass media teachers across the globe are facing the challenges related to changes in curriculum because of the evolution of new technologies. 
Media education not only includes imparting the knowledge about editing and reporting for the newspapers and channels, it also includes knowing the other media like cinema, radio, photography and cinematography. All these media are changing fast thanks to the technological upsurge. The Journalism Department of Mangalore's Premier Educational Institute, St. Aloysius College has organized a three-day national workshop on cinematography to help students to gain expertise in video and film production. For the next three days, journalism students of different colleges of Mangalore will be learning the art and science of cinematography at St. Aloysius College Territorium. The three-day UGC-sponsored national-level workshop on art of effective cinematography was inaugurated at College Territorium on Friday, March 7th. Manipal Institute of Communications Director Professor Buroshiv Das Gupta inaugurated the workshop. The idea of the old cinema, the real cinema, um, there is a danger, they say, there are many people who say that it will be forgotten altogether. But I must tell you, this has never happened in the, the history of the media. The, uh, you know, the, the earlier, the print media uh, had the threat from the radio, then the television, then the film, but each has found its own place in the history of the media. One has not replaced the other. St. Aloysius Institution's Rector, Father Francis Sirao, presided over the function. This education is primarily exposing ourselves, discovering and explorations. Education is experimentations and achievements. Education is search and research for new ways of living and life. Education is fun and frolic. Education is critical thinking and creatively responding. Education is being in touch with realities of life. Education is becoming relevant today. College principal Father Subert De Silva and convener Father Richard Rego were also present. Mahashivratri falls on the 14th day of the dark fortnight of Falguna and is dedicated to the worship of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva was married to Parvati on this day. Mahashivratri, the festival associated with Lord Shiva, was celebrated in the city on Thursday, March 6th. Devotees of Lord Shiva visited the nearby temples and offered prayers throughout the night. We have a report on this. Deepam Shivam Shivam Mahukar Rupam Shivam Shivam Mahasurya Chandra Dinetram Pavetram Mahakadha Dimiranta Kam Sauragadram ಶಿವಂಶಿವಂಭಜೆಮಂಜುನಾಥಂ ದಶ ದಿಶಾಸು ವಿಮಲ ಮೇಕಾದಶೋಜ್ವಲ ಮೇಕನಾಥೇಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರಣಥ ಜನ ಕಿಂಕರ ದುರ್ಜನ ಭಯಂಕರ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಶುಭಂಕರ ಸ್ಕೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಕದ್ರಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಂಜುನಾಥ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕುದ್ರೋಲಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋಕರ್ನಾಥೇಶ್ವರ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಬಚ್ನಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವ ಆಫರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಲೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ನೈಟ್ Devotees offered coconut, bilva leaves, fruits to Lord Shiva. Offering bilva leaves to Shiva on Shivratri is considered very auspicious by his devotees. The origin of Shivratri is attributed to the several stories in Hindu mythology. One very popular story traces the origin of this festival to the churning of the ocean of milk by gods and demons. It is said that when both gods and demons were churning the ocean of milk to obtain Amrita, they came across many unusual substances including the deadly poison Kalakuta. As soon as they touched the poison, it exploded into poisonous fumes that threatened to envelop the entire universe by darkness. When the destruction of the universe seemed inevitable, the Devtas ran for assistance from Brahma and Vishnu but neither was able to help. At last, they ran to Lord Shiva 
who raised his trident and condensed the fumes. In order to save the world, Shiva swallowed the poison without spilling a single drop. The poison left a dark blue mark on Shiva's throat. Devtas praised and worshipped Shiva for saving the universe. Well, that's all we have from our news desk. Stay tuned to TV Daiji World. I will be back with some foot tapping songs to entertain you. When doing travels and holidays, please do announce Cox and King's 250th birthday special offers. Up to 40% cash back on European tours, up to 20% cash back on USA tours. Flexible tailor-made packages to suit individual needs. Romantic honeymoon packages, fascinating Far East holidays, exploring Australia and New Zealand, domestic and international tickets, visas, exploring our own country or simply taking a weekend break. Please contact Wendell Travels and Holidays, Ground Floor, Abhiman Chambers, Vans Hostel, Mangalore. Phone 244 2445482 6452999. Money transfer.